Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for joining me today as I'm going to be doing your September 19th through the 26th uh, love reading. I will pull both sides of energy so pick which side most resonates with you. And uh, bottom of the deck will be the central issue and shared energies with two clarifiers. At the end I will pull um, from the romance and the romance angels and the wisdom of hidden realms. For our love and advice. So let's see what Taurus has going on this week. Okay. Your guys' shared energy and overall central issue is the hanged man. Clarified by the four of wands. And the five of pentacles in reverse. All right. Nice. Nice energy here. All right. First card that fell out is the Seven of Swords. So on this side, um, you're dealing with somebody who um, has been deceitful in your space, whether this be you or them. Um, like I said, just pick your side. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is what caused you to feel like you were left out in the cold. This is what caused you to feel like you were abandoned from a loved one. Um, they could have been sneaking out after dark um, or somebody could have, or you could have been doing this to somebody as well. The other side. Yeah, the, the secret's going to be out of the bag here. Um, somebody is coming clean. Somebody's coming forth and letting them know about this, uh, this, whatever, this deceitful energy. I'm not necessarily saying that it is um, cheating. I'm just saying some deceitful act from a family member or loved one um, caused you to feel like you were left out in the cold. This has already happened. You know about this. So if you don't know about it, this isn't for you. But um, yeah, you feel like you just, I keep hearing, how could you? How could you? Uh, so secrets are coming out. Yeah, there's a need for healing from this. This could be, you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius or they were dealing with a Sagittarius. But either way, the truth is going to set somebody free. Um, now it's calling for self, some, bleh, can't talk. Now it's calling for some healing to um, find balance in your life again, to get ready to put your best foot forward in your most beautiful light, to, to put what happened behind you, whether you're the one that did it or you're the one that uh, had it done to you, it's time to heal from that and leave that in the past and move forward um, so you can build a stable foundation with someone you're meant to be with. <clears throat> so this side, um, there they're telling this side the truth. They're letting this person know that they're no longer emotionally satisfied in this relationship. They're no longer uh, like mentally, physically, emotionally wanting to move on with this person. And that's what's causing such deep heartache on this side. Yeah. This side, Taurus, I do see as this side as being you. Um, however, it can go both ways, so don't get hung up on that. But you guys were searching, 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 searching for information. You knew something wasn't right with your partner. You knew there was something that, that wasn't being told. Um, and you did find some information out about this deceitful energy, um, possibly with a Sagittarius. And that also broke your heart. If you're dealing with a Virgo... Yeah, they, they're they beginning their spiritual path, their spiritual journey. They're going to go within. Um, they don't have to be a Virgo, however. They can just be somebody who is now taking this time in the Virgo sun um, that they're finally coming out with this. This has been deep in, deeply hidden for a couple years. Yeah, once you find out this information, you're, you're going to... Um, Cut off emotionally anything, 
feeling anything. Um, you could also be like tightening up your finances. Uh, I'm hearing don't be greedy. Uh, don't be deceitful as far as money goes. Um, if this is like a divorce situation. Uh, but for the majority of you, this is you're closing off. You're closing anyone out. You're not investing anything in anybody because you um, you can't you can't move forward. You can't keep doing this. You're still just so heartbroken. Um, wow. This side has all major arcana except for the ace of cups. Uh, the person that you're dealing with Taurus, or this could be you, they are manifesting and creating something new with all this major arcana. They're going through huge life changes. Um, this huge shift of energy is is causing them to move in a different direction that doesn't um, align with yours anymore. So this was destined to to um, split apart so the two of you could um, find your journey that you're meant to be on. Find that path that was meant for you. And that's what your uh, person that you are dealing with is being called to do. Yeah, you are um, concentrating on how this person hurt you. You're concentrating on how they what they did wrong and what you don't have when the universe is offering you a blessing. This is a gift. Take this situation that you were in and make a better life for you out of it. This is a blessing in disguise. This is the universe giving you your chance to go after exactly what it is that you want. Be with who you want, create whatever you want and, and it will be yours, but you have to um, come out of this, uh, feeling left out in the cold. Yeah. The princess of Pentacles. Yeah. They're, they're not wanting, you could be waiting on a, a message from this, uh, person. This side could, uh, very well be a earth sign or a Virgo. Actually, I know it's, yeah, it's an earth sign. Cause I have three Virgo cards here and yeah, or it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. More Pisces Cancer. I don't really see Scorpio either. But um, you're waiting on a message from this person. It's not going to be the message you want to hear. Or they're waiting on one for you. And you, and it's one with a sharp tongue is what I'm hearing. Yeah. So you're going to go into this hanged man. Um, you've thought a lot about this. Should I, should I keep fighting for this person? Should I let them go? You are going to go through a spiritual rebirth within the next week. You are going to start it. You're going to see the light. You're going to see what is in store for you. And both of you are going to separate from this relationship and build one of solid foundation and beautiful energy with someone that you're meant to be with. Um, yeah, I do see that, you know, the process has started. There is a divide here um, of ending this relationship and your bottom of the deck card is justice. So I do see this relationship ending in a breaking of a contract, um, whether it be marriage or like a committed relationship. Um, I do see that coming. But you both know it and you're both starting to accept it. So that's nice that you can finally start to put this behind you. What advice do you have for our Taurus friends this week? Now, obviously, this will not resonate with everybody. So if it doesn't, please check your other signs. Healing family issues. Wow. Your love life benefits as you forgive your family. Also, stay optimistic about your love life. It's the bottom of your deck. So positive uh, thinking and faith will bring new romance to you. Um, this card is really screaming out a bunch of messages for me. Um, most importantly, you're worried about how this is going to affect your children. There are children involved in this scenario that um, I am reading for today. They are not going to, um, of course, everybody is affected by divorce, but, but you're thinking the worst. Instead of thinking about how you guys are not going to be in the same house together, um, really try to to take a different perspective on it. You know, the more, you know, instead of being in one unhappy home, they get to be in two happy homes with more people to love them, with more people to support them, with more people to care about them and, 
be there for them and cheer them on and help pick them up when they, when they fall down. Um, so try not to spin the negative on this separation, um, especially to your children is what I'm hearing. Um, yeah. So don't think of it as so negative that, you know, they're going to be not with their mom and dad, but at the same time, but in two very happy homes with all the more people to love them, support them and care for them. Um, that's really important for somebody to hear because for a, for a group of you, that's the only thing holding you back is you're worried about it affecting your children, um, holding you back from, from going for your dreams, going for who, who you really want to be with. Um, and that's, and that's what's holding you there. But be reminded that, that the more people that love your children, the better. Your guys' advice card is spirit communication and paying attention. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is a number 11. Also, if you're connected with the number 11, this is very important to you. Also, the hawk um, is a very important omen. So pay attention if you see the hawk out of place in your life, um, what you're thinking, feeling, doing, etc., uh, but it appears when it has good news. Uh, he comes in to your life really just to alert you that a message is coming. Uh, the hawk always carries the, the message from the divine. So you're about ready to manifest your destiny. Um, you could get a phone call, a letter, a text message, um, whatever it is. There's a form of communication coming that's going to let you know how to take the next step. Um the next step in your path. Also pay attention when you think you hear something important pop out uh, at you, like on the, the radio on your way to work or on TV or overhearing someone else's conversations because spirit is constantly in dialogue with you and they're trying to get you to listen um, in any form the way that they can. Uh, yeah, because... Just be open to it because spirit is going to speak to you and show you the way to your, uh, to prosperity in every area of your life. So just be, just be aware and listen for, for what your next step is. Cause, because you guys are starting a new journey. You guys are, uh, yeah, you guys are, um, setting out on a new adventure, a new part of your life. You guys have completed one uh, chapter and on to the next. So good positive news is coming for you guys. Uh, try to stay positive and always remain faithful to your path, your journey, your dreams. And I will see you guys next time. God bless.